And with that, we are now at the end of the event for this year. Um, if you enjoyed the conference, uh, let us know on Twitter, tweet about us, use our hashtag, uh, FOMO everyone, so that next time we're back here on this stage, uh, there's more people here uh, benefiting from all the talks that we, uh, that we have. Um, we have a newsletter. You can sign up at northbaypython.org. Um, you can do that now, and then when we start emailing you all about things to do with the conference, you'll receive those, and you'll know to do the thing that we say. I'm not sure what that will be at this point, but it will be something. Uh, there'll be a survey, hopefully. We'll send that out at some point. Probably. <laughs> I love them. Surveys are great. Uh, videos. There are already videos online from yesterday, and I know there are some videos waiting in the queue from today already, and that is thanks to Carl and Stefano over there from Next Day Video. Um, so check out youtube.com slash northbaypython. There's already a whole bunch of yesterday's content there. Tell your friends so they can be upset that they weren't here, but still benefit from the talks because we're that sort of people. Um, we've got some people to thank. First up, we have sponsors. Um, sponsors are the people who give us more money than we make out of tickets so that we can actually have this event and have, um, have a nice venue, have food, have people actually attend that couldn't otherwise afford to be here. And the sponsors this year are our platinum sponsor, Facebook, our founding and gold sponsor, the Python Software Foundation, our childcare sponsor, Indeed, our lanyard sponsor, AWS, and our silver sponsor, Ubico. Please give them a resounding round of applause. Uh, we could not have a conference without a room to hold it in, and the room that we hold it in uh, has been, for the last three years, the Mystic Theatre. Their staff are great, especially Matt up on the AV desk, who you can't see, but he is waving at you. Um, he puts up with our crap every year and helps us put on a great show and make sure that we don't have hot mics when we're talking in the green room. It's kind of great. Um, there are lots of people who say lots of things very, very quickly. Uh, they say things that are difficult to understand, and Lindsay Stoker writes all of those things down and puts them on a screen for you to read. <laughs> Thanks to Lindsay. Um, and Norma and Brenda over at White Coat Captioning, uh, they're, they are by far the best in the business. If you need a conference captioned, you should speak to them because they do a remarkable job. Um, we had uh, childcare, which was sponsored by Indeed. Uh, Sachi Tovar and Corporate Kid Events are our providers. They did an amazing job as well. Um, our video providers, Carl and Stefano, who have been here year after year and live up to their name of Next Day Video. Um, but we've, do we want to clap for them, even though we've already done it? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All the claps. Uh, our parent organization, who put up with my failure to be organized about things, but still invoice our sponsors and still receive money and still provide us with credit card processing and lawyers and uh, what else do they do? Oh yeah, accounting and all those things that are to do with business that I don't enjoy, uh, none of the rest of our team enjoys, but they're willing to provide that service for us and make it so that we don't have to run a business in order to run a conference. Um, Conservancy are amazing, so thank you to them. <laughs> Our headline and featured speakers, uh, Jacob, Guido, uh, Jessica, and Shah, uh, you all gave amazing talks that uh, you know, really helped set the tone for this conference. Uh, so thank you, uh, thank you all. And then our speakers, who, um, when we said, please send us an abstract and we might give you some time on stage, uh, complied, sent us abstracts, and then used the time on stage that we ended up providing them with. Uh, this year's program has been phenomenally good. Um, and you know, without you, we don't have a conference to put on. So thank you all uh, for speaking. Uh, 
It's been amazing. Thanks. Um, uh, Max Pearl, who was unable to make it this weekend, he's been, uh, he's been helping us behind the scenes, providing us with great advice and helping out uh, whenever we've needed it. He wasn't able to make it uh, this weekend, so thanks to him. Uh, one of our founding team members, Sarah, who was uh, kind of stranded up in Seattle after a flight got cancelled uh, due to the, the fires, uh, she's helped us run our PyLadies program for the first two years and really did help us uh, not do terrible things for the first couple of years. I'm sad she couldn't make it this year, but uh, thankful for all the help and advice this year. Uh, to Andrew, who was not on the organizing team this year, but did call us out when we were being terrible, and also offered to provide us with internet until, um, until we weren't able to do that. So thank you, Andrew. You're wonderful. Thank you for being on the team. Uh, Sam. Uh, Sam Kimbrell, who is our program chair. Come up on stage. You're actually here. Bring a mic, why don't you? Um, Sam does a really good job of being opinionated, and that leads to having us a great program. Uh, so thank you, Sam. Thank you for, for live tweeting everything from, uh, from the conference and uh, for your help over the last three years. And Josh, you, you coming on? <laughs> Get the entire organizing team up on here. Uh, my partner, Josh, who puts up with me running this conference and also provides a whole heap of help uh, running it every year. Uh, all of our communications um, throughout the first half of this year and uh, making sure that we communicated properly when the fires came out. Um, I always appreciate your support and I'm so grateful uh, that, you, uh, that you help out with this and you know, support, support this happening. <laughs> Okay. So, um, this is normally the point where we say there's going to be a North Bay Python uh, next year. Um, up front, we're not going to be running a conference next year. Um, there are a few reasons for that. The first is that this is the third year that we've run an event that's been close to fires up here in Northern California. Um, last year, the big fire up in Paradise and that part of the world um, was a week and a half after our event. The Tubbs fire two years ago was a month beforehand, and if this conference were a week earlier, um, we would not have been able to run it. So. Um, we've realized that running an event during fire season here in California is really not something we want to continue doing. Um, with that in mind, we can't really run an event in the next three months without further increasing our burnout. So um, we do need to continue beyond the end of the next calendar year to end up back in the first half of the year. Um, we're also deciding you know, it's, it's a good opportunity to get a bit more than a year's break. This has been a really stressful year for running the event. Uh, we thank you for all of your support. Um, we'll be back. Instead of 12 months, maybe it'll be 16, but we'll be back. So. There's one more thank you. Um, Chris. And finally, uh, this is a great opportunity uh, for me to mention that our team has, we have had a couple of people on our team uh, move away from the Bay Area and it's a, you know, having extra time is a great opportunity to, uh, to rebuild the team, get more people on the team. So if you want to join us, uh, do get in touch. Uh, we'd like to make a full strength team again so that we can put on the best sort of event we can. And now you want to say something apparently. Yes, there, there's one more thank you. Yes. Uh, Chris, this is your event from the beginning. Concept. <laughs> Location, team, mm -hmm. everything. Uh, thank you for everything you've done for us. Okay. So that's the end of this year's event. And we'll see you whenever.
Thank you all.